This short tutorial is going to be in code blocks and it's for Miss Angie D who wants to know how to create a list of people who've signed up for an event. And to do that, we're going to use a trigger. So this script will be attached to a trigger. And when the trigger is entered by a player, we want to add them to a list. And the only way to create a persistent list is by using a leaderboard. And so we're going to have to create a leaderboard in Horizon. That'll be in your systems tab leaderboards. And you could create a weekly resetting leaderboard if that works well for you or you could do a monthly, depending on what your needs are, or you could just manually delete the leaderboard when you're done with it, recreate it, and then from this drop-down list, reference the uh, leaderboard that you've created. So I'm just gonna lab label leaderboard in here. All right, so you created a leaderboard, and then when the trigger is entered by a player, we're setting the world leaderboard for that player. Now, any number will do. So if you have like, this is your first event, you could set it to one, you could make it something special like that. And so for your second event, you could set it to number two. So that way you can keep track of even the people who've been to previous events and then just manually update this. Um, that would be pretty neat. And then this is gonna just be a sign up button trigger. And that's the entire script. So um, creating it in Horizon, unfortunately I don't have my headset or my desktop editor with me, but you just create the leaderboard. Hopefully you've had some experience with that. It's in the build menu and um, on the bottom, there's a systems tab and you'll be able to access that to create leaderboards. And then you'll pull out the leaderboard gizmo and reference the leaderboard that you created. In this case, it would be called leaderboard. Um, although I'd recommend a better name than that and uh, like sign up and so on. So pretty neat. And if you are looking for a way to do this without having to do any work, like say it's a weekly event, one thing you could do is going down here at the bottom of your syst or operators tab, you're going to find current uh, timestamp and you could get the current uh, days and that should be since the epoch. Let's see, current date and time. We could get the week, day of month, hmm, day of week. No, I guess there really isn't. We could get the current month. So if it's like a monthly event, you get the current month. And have it do that that doesn't that's not the best way to do it i would do current timestamp if it's a monthly event uh, we take days divided by 30. so there's a little bit of math here obviously this is not required you could just do the manual number but if you want something that's automated and you never have to touch it again we'll just take this a quick step further and we're going to grab a set to create a number variable called current uh, we'll call this current week and you can extrapolate for months or years even if you wanted to do that or you could just do it on a single day basis and not have to do any math. So then we're going to calculate the current week and to calculate current week we need to know the start day and so inside of Horizon you'd want to get the current day and you would do that by doing debug print and you would start by debug printing this current timestamp so you'd go press the button just like this and that's going to give you the current day and then you'll come back in here and do the set current week. And then we calculate that. And we want to use the floor option. This is going to remove the decimal places. And we want to divide by seven because we're doing this on a weekly basis. So number input seven. And then whatever day that you start this on using your current timestamp is going to be the um, number and so you're going to get that current timestamp and need to put it into your variables tab and so we'll say start date so like this would be maybe call better called first event date and that's a number and i can't remember the last one that i did but the number should be something like 600 maybe more like 900 now i'm not really sure what the current date is but anyway you would take um the minus symbol and you would take the current timestamp in days and subtract from it with the first event date. And so that'll tell you how many days have passed since the first event date. And so if it's within seven, this returns zero. And now that I say that out loud, I'm realizing I'm gonna stretch this out, sorry. Uh, let's come on, stretch. It's not letting me stretch, is it? That's okay. Um, and so now that I think about that, we might actually want to use, instead of floor, we might want to use ceiling. And so I'm going to drag this down and delete this one and then grab the ceiling. And what ceiling does is it removes the decimal place by going to the top. So if it's a decimal under zero, under one, it'll go up to one, whereas floor goes down to zero. So let's go ahead and use ceiling so that the first seven days are going to equal one. And that means you've signed up for event number one. 
and so on. And so now we can use that instead of current timestamp here. So we can use current week as that's gonna be set on the leaderboard and then every week they can sign up for the current event and then the next week it automatically resets and they have to sign up for the next event. Well, it doesn't really reset, right? It just lets you sign up to the next one. So it moves your number up. So you go from one to two and so on. So you know you're signed up for the next week. Okay, that's gonna end our tutorial for today. Thank you so much for uh, watching, hope this helps. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.